वर्क टुडे लाइक अराउंड थ्री ओ क्लॉक तीन बजे में काम पे गया था एंड इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक नौ बीस हो रहे एंड इट वॉज वेरी स्लो क्रिसमस के टाइम पे यही होता है लाइक दिसंबर के सेकेंड वीक में शुरू होता है स्लो होना और जनवरी के मिड तक चलता है ये सो ऑलमोस्ट लाइक ये एक महीना पूरा इट्स अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट टाइम फॉर पीपो इन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन बिजनेस सब लोग अपने लाइक like, फैमिलीज के साथ चले जाते हैं क्रिसमस सेलिब्रेट करने के लिए एंड दस जनवरी दस के बाद वो लोग वापस आना शुरू होते हैं लाइक आज दी वर्क सिचुएशन बस टेरबल लाइक गुड से लाइक गैस मनी कवर करने के बाद आज तो लीज भी नहीं बनी ये आई कम फ्रॉम इंडिया इन 1998 and i landed in la so i didn't come with the higher education and i didn't even know the language when i come to the united state so that was the biggest uh problem that i faced when i come here and after that i i work like pretty odd jobs i work at the store and i work at the gas station and uh i drive a truck and then after that i become a taxi driver the the entire time while i was u- doing all these odd jobs and everything that i always wanted to be come a filmmaker it was amazing delhi jo delhi mein humne kiya it was amazing amazing i still remember yaad aati hai delhi ke bhi bhi galiyon mein idhar udhar ghumna phirna काम वाम की कोई पट्टी इतनी कोई टेंशन थी नहीं लेकिन फिर भी मतलब फाइनेंशियली हम लोग इतने स्ट्रॉन्ग नहीं थे लेकिन उसके उसके बावजूद भी हमने इतना एंजॉय किया लाइफ को लाइक लोग मतलब हैरान होते थे कि यार ये लोग मतलब मत इतना वो नहीं है हम इतने रिच खानदान से नहीं हैं लेकिन ये बच्चे काफ़ी इन्जॉय करते हैं लाइफ को एंड देन फिर हमने जो हम जो दिल्ली के मोहल्ले के जो हम रहते थे कालका जी भी ट्रबल मेकर बने बहुत ज़बरदस्त जो हमने लोगों को मतलब परेशान करना शुरू किया आई मीन गुड वे किसी का नुकसान नहीं करते थे लेकिन आई मीन इट वॉज अमेजिंग फीलिंग This is a holding lot. Um, that's where we um, usually wait to get um, our turn to go to a west lot, which is right next to the terminal. 
and uh, once we get in the west lot then you have to go like you know in the line you follow the cabs who you're supposed to follow then you go to terminal and pick up your fare drop to their destination and come back to holding lot if you want to come back to the airport drivers from all over i mean from all over the place there's the bangladeshis indians uh gujarati punjabi and uh, people are from pakistan and uh, uh the nigerian uh jamaica uh people are from like haiti i believe and then it's it's a it's a mixed community there's lots of them there's too many uh, the communities that you will see here, they're Russians, uh, Arabic, so yeah, they're from all over the place. spend like three months and I couldn't stay there longer because I feel burden on my friends uh, I was thinking that I I'm all kind of like becoming his responsibility because I don't have the job and um, I don't have the um, money to survive so I was kind of embarrassed and then from there, I, I didn't work in the LA at all. So I find a job in New Jersey because my friend sent me here. He's like, he knew someone. So I came to uh, New Jersey. I stopped working at the gas station. And, um, but the main, like the, while I was doing all these odd jobs, the entire time there was like, my, my mind was always focusing and always like, running after my dream which was the filmmaking I always want to make films so day and night uh, constantly I was thinking about you know the making films so I was and every time there's a like idea runs through my mind I write it down so just in case just because I was keeping my faith and my hope that one day it might happen so I was keep doing my uh, the writing thing that uh, whatever comes in my mind like if there's a for example if I'm like uh, sitting and there's a there's a this song idea runs in my mind so I just write down that um, uh, the idea or I'll keep the recorder device with me I'll record that thing so I can remember later on Hi guys, this is Virendra Rana. You're watching the making of contract wedding. Um, I, me and uh, Amarjeet Singh, we both direct this film, making in the United States, Philadelphia, and New Jersey. We got the pretty cool people to work with, uh, Sobi, Sophia Sundar, and Sunny, and Amarjeet Singh. We have a few more characters. Uh, it's an amazing story. I wrote this story in 2002. You saw a film about the, the lifestyle we're living here, how much struggle that we go through. I'm talking about we, the people, whoever comes from the other country to live here. My regular day at work, it's, it starts in the morning when I first started the car in the, in the morning. It's automatically in my mind that if I'm going to make money today and uh, of course, it's, it's, it's the same thing with the every other cab driver in the industry. But to me, it's, I have to think more harder because, and that's the reason the, uh, I put more hours in the business because I do need uh, lots of money to uh, accomplish my, like my dreams, that, which is filmmaking. I, I want to get in the films, but the amount of time that I put at work, it's it's hard for me to keep focus on my dream because it, it takes it takes lots of time to work and just survive in this industry because uh, time is the money in this business.
angle, you're gonna go straight. किसी ने ताली तो बजाई नहीं। That's like the, my favorite song out of the whole movie. Now you should sing the other one, Rana. कौन सा? Contract Wedding was the film that I was doing, and um, uh, it is. I come up with that story uh, from my own experience. That uh, I have seen like few uh, Hollywood films that I came out uh, like on the, on that topic, but I seen that it it does not show the reality of the life. Uh, it seems like they show it's it, it seems, sounds like a very easy but it's it is not really easy I mean ever since I've been here in the United States I've been working and chasing my dream and it, it is very very difficult for me to do it because once I land in the United States I came up with a bunch of responsibility there was like lots of burden on my shoulder uh, regarding like to um, towards my family and um, myself as well 
and not knowing the language, new, per, new place, not knowing anyone here, it was quite difficult and uh, I face uh, lots of problem. Uh, and then from there, I, I always want to be a filmmaker and that's why these kind of realities create story in my mind. So I come up with the um, then idea, which is I named first, um, it was titled uh, Kabi Al Vidana Kena. But that title has already um, like in the market uh, by Karan Johar. So I have to change the title. I named it Contract Wedding. So the Contract Wedding, it's kind of story that tells you like truth about American life, especially for those people who come from abroad. And um, like me, uh, I have I have done lots of odd jobs, joke easy nathi, but I have done it um, in the like for example in the very extremely cold weather, which is uh, like snow, rain, cold, storm. In in weather, maybe like I'm bahar kam kiya that we pump the gas for the customers and all that stuff. So all those things were like very difficult for me to face because we were not. Uh, our body does not um, prepare for this kind of weather because uh, I born and raised in India and uh, the weather was like completely different entirely different uh, than uh, from India to here action Cut! Cut it! Uh, the main lead character, the guy came from India. The only one person that he know here, his best friend, find him all kinds of, like a he's like he's trying to find a jobs here but he couldn't because the uh, according to his expectation like he was a well educated the person who came from India but uh, education just not enough to work in into the United States you need the legal documentation for working in the in the United States for those kind of things so the the I named the character called Karan <laughs> Hey, taxi. You're from India. Yeah. Bajo taxi piche rakhte hain. Haan ji, waise aap bataiye, aap wo kahan chhodu hai? Kam milega yahan pe koi? Kam? भाई मेरे काम मिलने ऐसे थोड़ी है ना आपको जान ना पहचान ना पता नहीं आप आए कहाँ से हैं आपको यहाँ को जानता नहीं है After a while when he try and he give up finally that he cannot find a job like that according to his expectation according to his um, qualification so uh, then he have to pick up the job whatever he could find like I did Thank you. Have a nice day. Then he told his friend, like, "Yes, I'm coming. I'm not coming here in America." So his friends, like, you know what? That you have to do it. We all do. So he said, "Like, I'm not one of you guys, but I have some dreams that I need to do something. I'm qualified. I'm well qualified. I should. I deserve a better job." So he understood that in order to do the job for your According to your qualification, you have to have work documentation. Fir, 
उनकी बात हुई देन दे ट्राई टू फाइंड द वे टू हिम बिकम लीगल इन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट तो वहाँ से स्टोरी जो है टर्न लेती है दैट दे आर लुकिंग फॉर गर्ल टू हु कैन गेट मैरिड टू दिस पर्सन एंड बिकम लीगल इन टू दिस यूनाइटेड स्टेट एंड ऑल दैट स्टफ तो जब जो लड़कियों की डिमांड्स वगैरह सुनते हैं देन आफ्टर दैट दे कम्प्लीटली लाइक आर ऑफ कंट्रोल बिकॉज जो अकॉर्डिंग टू फाइनेंशियल सिचुएशन थी करंट कैन नाट अफोर्ड ऑल दीज डिमांड्स दैट द गर्ल्स फॉर डूइंग सो ही लर इज गाओ इन बिटवीन जो लीड रोल कैरेक्टर फीमेल लीड रोल कैरेक्टर जो है हर नेम इज सोफिया इन द फिल्म सोफिया का जो कैरेक्टर है इसमें दैट शी इज उसका चाइल्डहुड की जो लाइफ थी इट वॉज वेरी 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 पेनफुल द रीज़न बिकॉज उसका फादर था अल्कोहलिक एंड उसने देखा है कि दैट हर फादर बीट्स हर मदर ऑल द टाइम दैट्स हाउ शी डाइट सो उसके दिमाग में एक ऐसा डर बैठा हुआ है अगेंस्ट मैन शी थिंक ऑल द मैन आर लाइक दैट दैट्स वाई शी डोंट वॉन्ट बी गेट इन थैंगल विद एनी कंड रिलेशनशिप विद एनी मैन सो शी लाइक काइंड ऑफ does not want any kind of relationship in her life but at the same time she love the kids she wants so bad her own kid but it's not going to happen because she does not trust the man so somehow some way they meet together and um unke milne ke baad jab um somehow she agreed to help him the reason she help like the reason she agreed to help him because usne dekha ki that one of his um, like good friend who used to work at the gas station usne suicide kar liya jo ki actually hua tha yahan par basically that guy was working at the gas station for, and he spent like 13 years of his life in america and uh, his wife was in india aur wo yahan pe tha aur jab wo yahan pe aaya tha to then his wife was pregnant and उसके यहाँ पे शी के वो बर्थ टू है लिटल बेबी ग्रॉ लेकिन उसने कभी अपने बच्ची को अपने हाथों में होल्ड करके नहीं देखा सो दिस कान ऑफ थिंग्स वॉज लाइक अप सेटिंग हिम तो उसने तेरह साल की अपनी लाइफ के अंदर अमेरिका में देन ही फील द पेन फॉर सेपरेशन फ्राम हिज लाइफ फ्राम फ्राम हिज वाइफ एंड हिज डॉर दैट वॉज बॉर्न आफ्टर ही लेफ द इंडिया एंड ही नेवर ही इज ऑनली सीन हर लाइक ग्रोन अप इन द पिक्चर्स तो ये चीज़ें उसको बहुत ज़्यादा बादर कर रही थी सो वन द टाइम कॉम्स द वाइफ नीज द हजबेंड सो बैड टू बी विद हर ही वॉज इन देर सो ये चीज़ें उसके दिमाग के अंदर इतनी ज़्यादा प्रेशराइज होगी दैट ही ही कमिट सुसाइड उसकी सुसाइड की केस को सुन के सोफिया हैज़ चेंज हर माइंड एंड एंड देन चीज थिंक्स दैट आई शुड हेल्प द करण तो फिर उसने डिसाइड किया कि करण की मैं हेल्प करूँगी एंड देन once the um uh once they were like prepare all the kind of like things that they need they need to do for this uh the contract wedding thing she make up a, a contract usne ek contract banaya jis according to her uh, conditions usne kuch conditions uske andar rakhi jo ki like you cannot you can never drink tum kabhi piyoge nahi like sharab nahi piyoge then you'll never raise your voice on me and um जो भी घर के एक्सपेंसिस है वी शुड हैव एंड हैव एंड ऑल दैट स्टफ एंड द लास्ट इन द फाइनल कंडीशन वॉज दैट शी सेड दैट यू नीड द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन फ्राम मी आई विल हेल्प यू बट आई नीड समथिंग फ्राम यू टू तो करण सोच में पड़ गया कि लेकिन तो क्या चाहिए होगा लाइक वॉट शी नीड इट फ्राम मी सो ही वॉज शार्कड वेन शी पुट हर लास्ट कंडीशन अकॉर्डिंग टू द लाइफ इन अमेरिका फ्रॉ फोर people who came from like india pakistan bangladesh or middle east ya yeah, yeah, in some countries se jo log aate hain they come with lots of expectation uh, without knowing like a what is actual life in america to so, jab when they finally face what is a life is here actual life then they realize uh, the it is not easy it is very difficult that how hard you have to work कुछ भी पाने के लिए लाइक येस देर इज पीपल हैव बिन सक्सेसफुल देर इज रीजन बिहाइंड द पीपल हु डज नॉट हैव एनी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी बैक देयर देर वेल सेटल इन इन इंडिया एंड देन दे कम हियर दे डोंट हैव टू सपोर्ट एनी वन 
वो लोग यहाँ पर जल्दी सक्सेस हो जाते हैं बिकॉज देयर इज लॉस ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर दोज कैन पीपल जिनके पास ऑलरेडी है एंड बट द पीपल लाइक मी एंड जो यहाँ आते हैं विद विद नथिंग एंड इट इट इज़ कम्प्लीटली नेक्स्ट इम्पॉसिबल टू लाइक बिकम समन इन अ वेरी शोर्ट ऑफ टाइम क्योंकि यहाँ की जो लाइफ है ना आप द रीज़न दैट द आवर्स दैट यू हैव टू पुट एंड आप फिजिकली और मेंटली दैट यू बेसिकली टोर्चर यू सेल्फ ऑलमोस्ट एवरी डे एंड देन इट गेट्स डाउन एंड and one point it definitely gets you when the time comes that what is exactly what i'm doing how much time that i have lost kitni aisi cheeze hoti hain that we missed they are like priceless for example diwali aati hai chali jati hai we don't even know the people mention us oh aaj diwali thi yaar you driving a taxi after 10 20 years you still going to be a driver taxi driver so there is no future you cannot say that you can live your life on this और आजकल की जो इकानमी के हिसाब से जो कंडीशन है काम की दैट दी हाउ दी इकानमी इफेक्ट द इंटायर वर्ल्ड सो दैट इफेक्ट आवर वर्क एज वेल हमारे काम पे भी उसका गहरा असर हुआ है बिकॉज वी हैव लॉस्ट लाइक थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ वर्क इन दिस इंडस्ट्री इन बिकॉज पीपल डज नॉट हैव मनी टू स्पेंड एंड देन इट इट इफेक्ट अस मोर बिकॉज देन वी हैव टू पुट मोर आवर्स टू कवर वट वी हैव लॉस्ट प्रैक्टिकल इस जिंदगी को जीना इन अमेरिका दैन इमेजिन इज अ टोटली डिफरेंट यू कैनॉट इमेजिन आई मीन आप लोग मुझे देखते हो शायद अमेरिका में है इतने टाइम से है टैक्सी चला रहा है ही मस्ट मी बेक इन अ खेलर मनी इट इट्स लाइक अ बिग डिफरेंस बिटवीन लाइक माई लाइफ एंड द पर्सन इज लिविंग नॉर्मली इन इंडिया एंड मेकिंग लाइक मे बी ट्वेंटी और थर्टी टाइम्स लेस मनी दैन मी द बिग डिफरेंस इज दैट एंड द नाइट ही माई गो टू होम to his loved ones that is a big difference and spend some time with his family it makes big difference matters will take your stress away lekin yahan par by the time that i go home my wife is sleeping there's no one else is waiting for me so i basically go home take shower and straight go to bed next morning get up get ready for work That's about it. This is kind of like life.
people call land of opportunities the people think that your dreams will come true in America it's a wonderland for a lot of people and but not knowing the reality and the tr truth what is exactly life is here and uh, when I leave India in the plane I had a stop in London but by the time I reached London, I was okay. But when the plane took off from London, heading to America, I was kind of down and I felt that I'm kind of like really, really far away from the home and did not know how long it's going to be far from the home. <clears throat> so I take it, it was a bitter bite, but I had no choice. And um, I, I stepped into America with the bigger and unfocused dream. I never knew it's ever gonna be come true and it's gonna be out of the focus clear so I can see very clearly that my dream is right there. Ever since I've been here, I've been struggling because the filmmakers, they're chaser, they chase dreams. Sometimes in an entire life. I hope that won't happen to me. But making a films from the reality. It's not just a difficult, it's 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 very, very hard. And for me, being a full supporter, supporter to the family and thinking about the dreams was 
and it is very difficult. Uh, once uh, I, I was working at the airport and uh, I was eating uh, my like lunch and uh, one of my friend, uh, he's from Pakistan, so he was like sharing food with me, so we were eat together. And um, one, like, uh, one of my, um, like, the uh, taxi driver guy, he's a Sikh, he called me, like, uh, Rana, come here. So I went, I'm like, yeah, QL. And then he's like, um, are you crazy? I'm like, why? He's like, you're a Muslim, you're a Muslim, you're a Muslim, you're a Muslim. जो सबसे बड़ा हमारा जो धार्मिक स्थान है वो गोल्डन टेंपल को माना जाता है अमृतसर हरमंदर साहब सचखंड जिसे बोलते हैं तो मैं कहा उन जब उनको उसकी जो स्थापना की थी जब वो अपने हरमंदर साहब की नींव रखी गई थी वो एक मियां जी ने रखी थी एंड देन अगर ये केस है तो देन आपको वहाँ भी नहीं जाना चाहिए एंड इन दिस का इंसिडेंट है लाइक लोग गलत धर्म को लेकर एक दूसरे के बारे में गलत फीलिंग्स जो पैदा होती है और वो लोग हम ही लोग करते हैं कि अपने बच्चों को सिखाना कि उसके पास मत जाना वो हिंदू है वो मुस्लिम है थिंग्स लाइक दैट नाइन इलेवन के बाद दैट सिख वॉज टारगेटेड दैट वॉज बिगेस्ट पॉइंट वॉज दिकॉज ऑफ द इमेज ऑफ द गाय वॉज विद बिन लादेन हिज इमेज वॉज दिकॉज ही वॉर द टर्बन सो दैट वॉज अ बिगेस्ट मिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग फॉर अमेरिकन्स That whoever were the turban is a terrorist. The Arizona में क्या हुआ था कि that one of the gas station का एक owner था the Mr. Balbir Singh Sodhi. He उस उसको he was attacked by one of the Americans कि क्योंकि that he was wearing a turban and तो उसकी जो image थी वो that was just you know वो ही टर्बन है दाढ़ी भी रखी हुई है सो दे गट मिस अंडरस्टूड एंड ऑफकोर्स एकदम ताज़ा ताज़ा हादसा हुआ था लाइक इट्स लाइक सो दी इंसिडेंट जस्ट हैपन सो पीपल वर एंग्री बहुत ज़्यादा लोग गुस्से में थे एंड देन एंड दे जस्ट डोंट नो वट देर डूइंग तो ऐसे में उन दे दी बलबीर सिंह सोडी वॉज लाइक अनफॉर्चुनेटली उनके हाथ आ गया एंड देन दे जस्ट बीट एम टू डेथ हम गैन ग्रैप द फूड फ्रॉम द बैक सीट ओके Got some, but you can get some. <laughs> Ooh, abe chaba to liya kya? Yeah, watch your hands. <laughs> you get old girl. I had gotten out of working in the Allied Health field for a while, and I was wa- working as a bank courier. And the company that I worked for was contracted to fill their fleet vehicles up at his uncle's gas station, and that's where I met him. And he was this just really friendly, sweet, kind of even goofy guy. <laughs> I have to sign for the fleet vehicle. And um, one time I put Midori Dixit. He had no idea that I knew anything. <laughs> he was like... <laughs> so yeah, we started talking and... It's a good man. Yeah. And then what happened? How did you start dating him? <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell some of this? Um, that kind of that kind of all developed on the internet at first, yeah. even though we knew each other. I ask first her out, and uh, I demand to go to Staples. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> It was our first date. We went to Staples. Stationery. And store. he says, "I demand." She asked me out. No, she, he asked me, "Could I take him to Staples? Would I mind?" And it's like, no, I wouldn't mind at all. So that's our first date, Staples. I try to hold his hand, and it's like, but you know, eventually, and then talking what? on the computer, and I was talking to him like we did just about every night when Almost. you got home from work. And he sent me. He said, "I sent you an e card." And so I said, "Okay, hold on, just a minute." And I went and I looked and I checked my mailbox and. 
It was this card with a rose on it, and it said quite clearly that I love you. I got back on and we were chatting. This is before Skype. And um, I said, do I understand what this card's supposed to mean? And yeah, I did. <laughs> and it just went from there. He just seemed, it was near Diwali one year. And he seemed so sad. He was talking about it, but he just had this far away look in his eyes. And I said, well, what can I do? You know, I can't fly him home. I can't fly his family here. What can I do? So that night when I got off of work, I went home and I started cooking because I knew how to cook Indian dishes. I think I ended up cooking like 10 or 12 different things from riata to, you know, sweets and I think I made kheer, right? Mm -hmm. I made something sweet. I forget what it was. Yeah. And uh, the next day I packed it all up and I took it in the box and I took it to him before I had to report into work. And he was so happy. Just that little, that one thing, and he enjoyed it, and he shared it with some friends. So much has happened in 12 years, for sure. Um, I didn't realize when we were first together that uh, he had such a passion for film. I thought it was just kind of like a pipe dream. I didn't know it was anything he would ever go out and pursue. And there was some rough patches there, because it spent a lot of time with me, and I didn't understand it, and I didn't... quite know where it was going. I, didn't, I, I see what has happened to talented friends of mine that are artists in various media, and it's difficult. It is the typical million and one shot. And I guess I wasn't real supportive or behind him back then. And you know, it was fraught with arguments about time spent away from home because we all, always had fastidiously celebrated every Sunday off together till finally other things and other people started to take my Sundays away. But um, and then we, then I started doing my own art. Now there was a, th a few ultimatums thrown about, you know, what you need to do, but I think at the end of it all, when we each started to spend less time together, but really become interested in more and more in our own thing, that I could actually step back and respect him. And after I was able to do that, I looked at him as more of a friend, you know, deep respected friend of mine. It was good in that sense, the time away. Mm -hmm. And that will always stand. Yeah. So going back, you know, like, um, what were you going through when he was spending time away from you? Well, not much. It just kind of bobbed around for a while until I decided, you know, what it was that I wanted to do. Um, and then there was a period of illness there, you know, and then right, right when he started to move away is right about the time we bought this house. And of course, when you buy a house, you're pretty much taking up, you know, years of your time. And I worked full time in medicine. And then I'd come home and, you know, I had pets and my mother lives with us. So yeah, there was always plenty to do. There's enough to keep me occupied. Mm. 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 See, this driving taxi late at night, working films, doing all that, spending all your life texting. Ah, it's going to be the end of you. This film was in the beach because the reason, the most important problem I faced was with finance. Uh, my partner, who started with me, that he uh, have at the last minute, uh, uski jo, uh, he have changed his mind, and then usne mujhe ye bola ki that uh, that he he's kind of like a, he, he needs to borrow the camera from me for a day or something like that. Ki hamare ghar mein kuch function hai something like that that I need the camera. So I let him like humne. So there was no um, 
point for me to say no to him kyunki humne saath mein shuru kiya tha to he was like a 50% partner of the thing so i just gave him the camera but i have a bad feelings about it that there is something going to happen so exactly wohi hua usne camera hold kar liya and then all the sudden that he told me that he said jitna paisa maine lagaya hai just give me the money and take the camera back and i was not into the uh, condition that i can pay him back that money that he spent so basically he was he was uh, after the uh, camera right after 3 months we start the film right after 3 months so he start telling me india chalke film banate hain india chalke film banate hain i'm like what about the film that we start here what about this ye log like these people are they been working with us for such a long time jo bhi hai 3 4 mahine se ye log hamare sath lage hue hain without any expectation we not paying him them and at all, all this lekin uske bawajood bhi that uh, his interest was like gone from the uh, project so then i figured it out like uh, this person is about to about something else so wohi hua jo i mean it's a from beginning probably usne yahi soch ke kiya hoga ki like somehow some some way main isko trap karta hu uske baad then i will just take the thing away so wohi usne kiya and then uh, ye sab karne ke baad usne he just took the camera from me and told me to like pay the money that i spend into this project and i'll give you the camera back and koi kisi angle se that i was not in the situation to pay him back because and and jo like after supporting my family after uh surviving paying my bills jo bhi meri uh, saving thi i gave him everything uh, for this project and i was still spending money into this and also we used my credit for this film making this film which is gone now kyunki uh, he stopped paying the payments for the uh, uh, jo bhi humne credit ke upar uthaya tha and uh, i end up got stuck with the uh, my credit uh, loan and ma kela nahi afford kar sakta tha with all this uh, meri khud ki uh, expenses jo the and family ko support karna this and that everything so I, there was no possible way for me to keep it up so i gave up finally i dragged the film for like after he left i dragged the film about 3 or 3 to 4 month maine koshish ki ki main film ko complete kar sakun but uh, there was no possible way i mean there was a people who support me help me uh unke baad ek aur banda mila tha that his the guy was from pakistan ali uh he he was a really really nice guy he support me as well and uh, lekin kuch ho nahi paya then i unfortunately i have to let the project go did you edit the footage that you got from the shoot no i didn't even get the uh, edit edit thing uh, never get the editing because the most of the shoot that he have i never got it he took the camera and uh, whatever i shoot after him when i restarted everything i bought the camera and everything i didn't have enough footage 